In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Chi-Square Goodness of Fit Test and Minitab to determine whether a sample data with an inclusive category was drawn from a Poisson distribution. So let's take a look at this example. We have broken down our data into eight different categories or groups, and uh, the last category is an inclusive category. And I will explain this in just a second, but let's take a look at the rest of it so you understand what's happening here. Um, assume we are looking for the occurrence of a particular event and in six observation we saw that event not happening at all. In 23 observations we saw the occurrence of that event once, in 29 observations we saw the occurrence of that event twice and so on and so on. Uh, what this last inclusive category means that we saw the occurrence of that event 7, 8, 9, 10 or more 13 times. And uh, that's what this is, and it's crucial. We're going to come back to this a little bit later. Uh, our um, null hypothesis states that this data arises from a Poisson model, and our uh, alternative hypothesis states that this data do not arise from a Poisson model. We're going to use the alpha or our significant level 0.05 or 5%, and uh, here are the steps that we need to take. I will explain each of these as we go forward. So the first step is to estimate the mean. And the way to do this is basically we are going to multiply this category by this. Because these are the, uh, remember the occurrence of the event. So these by these, then add each one together, and then divide it by this. And the way to do that is right here. We go to calculator, oops, calculator. We are going to store our uh, um, result in as estimated mean. Uh, the expression is, I'm going to go to statistics, uh, so it's basically sum of uh, this category uh, multiplied by this count uh, divided by uh, sum of uh, this count. And hit OK. This is the estimated mean of our data. Um, now we're going to calculate the expected probability distribution of a Poisson model for this data. And the way to do that, we go to calculator, we go to probability distribution, we go to Poisson, uh, we are going to pick probability, our mean is 3.24, and uh, our input column is our category. And uh, optional storage, we're going to put expected. Here we go. So if this data had come from a Poisson model, it would have broken down this way. However, but since this last category was an inclusive category, we are not going to end up with the cumulative probability of 1. Let's just test this, though. Uh, the way to test this, we go to stats. Um, I'm sorry, we go to calculator, calculator, we get rid of all this other stuff, store, I'm going to say C5 in here, and uh, I'm going to delete all of this, I'm going to say sum of expected probability in C5, okay, yep, you can see that this is not 1.0, so we need to see how much adjustment we need to make, and uh, the way to do that is again this basically one minus this is how much we're short and we have to add that to the last category because it was an inclusive category so um, you can use this function uh, again the calculator uh, I'm going to put C6 here and uh, let's say one minus uh, my C5 equal so now we have to add this to this value and replace it so we go to calculator, calculator. Uh, just gonna get rid of this. I don't need. No, let me just see. C7. I'll say um, C6. Uh, C, oops. C6 plus 0 0.029125 equals. And that is going to replace this value. Uh, three cells. So 
the sum of this now should equal 1 and let's just test this to be sure uh, just gonna actually use it here so uh, we go to calculator calculator and uh, I'm gonna say C8 just keeping it all about to make sure oops sorry we have to pick sum expected one so now our distribution is complete we can now get rid of all of this other stuff now we are done with all this business and we need to do our chi square goodness of bit test to do that we go to stats tables chi square goodness of fit and uh, for observe count we're going to put a count we go to specific proportions and that is our expected let me just move this that is our expected probability so our expected probability and for graph observed and the expected i don't really care for these so i just want to compare the expected and the observed and um, let me see results yep display test results okay everything's good we hit okay so let me just tell you what this means this is the expected uh, value and this is the observed and the difference of these two are the contribution to the chi-square score so all of these all of these categories uh, I'm just going to close this down so what do we have now? What we have is basically these are the categories that we had. This is a breakdown of the chi-square contribution to chi-square score. And uh, here is our chi-square score and the p-value. But remember, this is not exactly what we're looking for uh, because this was an estimated uh, mean. And the uh, chi-square uh, and minitab automatically uses k minus 1 so the eight categories minus 1 give you 7 we need to be more conservative in this case because of that estimation and use uh, degrees of freedom k, uh, k minus 2 so to do that we're going to go to calculator we go to probability distribution and we go to chi square in here we're going to make sure the cumulative probability is checked uh, degrees of freedom we're going to make the adjustment and put six and on the input constant that is the value of our chi-square score so which is right here that is 7.45278 and uh, that's it we're gonna hit okay so the cumulative probability is 0.71 Nine. So this is to the left of our chi-square probability distribution. So to get a p-value, we have to say 1 minus this value. And uh, I'm just going to again go back to calculator. Um, calculator, here we go. And uh, let's see, I put C5 here. Um, and I'm going to say 1 minus... 0 0.719006 and hit OK and this is our p-value so uh, based on this we can go back to our original hypothesis which was data arises from a Poisson model and uh, we can actually see this value is much greater than our alpha so we're going to accept the uh, um, uh, the uh, we're going to we're going to retain our HO statement and do agree that this data arises from Poisson model I hope this video was helpful thank you